Three, it seems this pitch has got a little bit more pace. Four, Four runs over the top of the keeper. It's too short from Majola. Yes, he's quick, but he can't persist with this length. It's a good start, this by Sutherland. Chopped away for four. That is crisp. Very crisp indeed. Just using the pace. Nice footwork. Got into position. Punched it off the meat of the bat. 11 from the opening over. Nicely clipped. Nicely timed as well. The heavy outfield though. Keeps it down to just... Oh, he's got to go. Oh, the dive was out. Gave himself a bit of room, has launched it away off the inside half. It gets a, off the outside half, I should say. So boldness was his friend there for De Costa. Aiming away to the onside, thick outside half and away for four. Big appeal for Courtman. He's got him. A little bit of extra bounce. The pressure started to build. The aggressive stroke came. And De Costa has got the merest of touches through to Fon Bellion and DHS are turning this game around. The semi-final against Glenwood. The skipper, Chad Mason, who played very nicely for his 44 there. An important cog in this Marisburg College wheel. He goes out at number three to join Llewellyn Sutherland. Short, pulled, two men back there. The outfield's heaviness will Keep it down to two, maybe not. Get in. Coming back for the second. It always looked risky. The dive was out from Sutherland, but the throw was unerring. The take and break. And despite the efforts of Sutherland to get back, he's been given his marching orders and College are in trouble now. They're two down with 34 on the board. Big moment in the game. Outfield just holding it up. Normal quick outfield that would, would have rolled away for four the fielder had it in his hand and he set off for the second here's another look yeah good decision very good decision by umpire and Gabani. Nicely picked up. It's just the merest of deflections using the angle, using the pace of the ball. And away for four by Gibson. 7-9 off the over. And there's two extra balls already. Oh, that kept alarmingly low. It's gone through everything. Is it going for four? Yes, it is. Big over this for college. There's 13 from it. Pulled away. Handsomely struck. And the result is exactly what he wanted. He's played that absolutely beautifully. Swiveled on the back leg. Didn't try and overhead it. Just timed it to perfection. Oh, beautifully bowled. What a response that is. A healthy edge and a neat catch once again from Fulion. And we talk about ebbs and flows. Here's another. Oh, close. Close. Gone. Harverman gets another one. DHS right on top. And that is a, a poor shot selection by Gibson at a time like this. There's a, there's a man with a camera straight behind the umpire down in front of the side screen. Hasn't seemed to bother Zanibi. As he hooks that for six. There's a shot. There's a stroke. Man back there. Oh, wow. Picked up. Beautiful shot. Oh my, oh my. He's quick on that pickup pull. There's uh, Zanibe. Over backward square for another maximum. It's beautifully played. Right on the edge of the circle is extra cover. They're going to pick up an extra one as well. Harverman's last two balls costing him eight. Slog swept. That's in the gap. It's four. Well played, McKean. Timber's first delivery goes for a boundary. That's out of here. That's a big shot. Poor delivery by Harverman. 
And Zanibe takes full toll over Midwicken. Goes downtown. Is this a chance? Pele breaks through. Fielded it well to stay inside the field of play. McKean hits it down the throat of Longhoff. That might just be Majola down there at uh, Longhoff, the man who opened the bowling from the near side. That's the definition of uh, down his throat. He does well. That boundary cushion was awfully close, but he did stay inside it. You see the batting card. Sutherland, he was run out by Safundo. 16 of 19. Da Costa, 15 of 16. Both openers getting starts. Four overs remain. Majolos bowled two. Pele, three. Nike, two overs. None for 13. Goes to Monolf. Well taken. On the edge of the circle. Great catch by Omar. Playing us to this uh, Clifton Centenary T20 final. Out. First baller. Majola delighted. Well taken behind the stumps by Fumbleyon. Nadu departs the scene without traveling the scorers. Is he going to look to attack the stumps with this delivery? Hattrick ball. Chance dropped. Oh my word. Have you seen that? Fumbleyon usually safe as houses behind the stumps. Well, definitely look at a minimum of 10 in this over. That's a good strike and a good start. It's going to be a boundary off the first ball. Beautifully played by Zanibe right in the slot as well. Oh, it's well taken, beautifully taken, well judged. He's got good hands, Majola. He's not just a fine of opening bowler, he's good in the field as well. Got to be specially talented to do that. It's amazing how many times I saw him hit it for six as well. He sort of looks as if he's swinging it away to the offside, opens the face, carves it over point six. You can't believe that stroke. Get something on it, get Zanibe on strike. It's not all about just swinging wildly, you're dotting it up together it's the principal contribution for Maritzburg College who have limped somewhat to 127 for eight reminding you they got 132 for eight in the semi-final and they defended that successfully against Glenwood by 10 runs so they're not out of this it's DHS who favorites college are gonna have to bowl and field absolutely superbly but at 127 for eight they still in it so on the back of the Marisburg College scorecard, they got off to a bright start, putting on 30 for the first wicket, but you can see there's Zaniba held the middle together, got support from McKean, but in the end, 127 for 8 is what they've posted, they're going to have to bowl out their socks to defend this, DHS favourites at the break in this final. There's a stroke, there's a stroke, a little bit of wit through the hands of it and it skims away for 4, a pressure Elisa. Oh, it's a top stroke a nicely balanced player i just think it's his inability to find gaps there he's gone over the top with a field up i think the, the coach has had a word with him saying this time you can't play and eat balls like you did in the in the run chase against uh, st charles he's got the strokes there's no two ways about it and there we've seen another exhibit thereof and it bore fruit in the end here's de costa to mcb down the ground for four Oh, it's not. It's excellent work. Long on coming around. Zanibe cutting it off, so it's just two. When you're renowned as being a man who can clear the ropes, that irks. Big appeal for LBW, and he's got him! De Costa strikes. It was the quicker one. It was shorter length. He went across it, and whilst it might have bounced, it always looked fairly straight. I'm going to throw you a question, Johan. De Costa's begun well. Two left-handers at the crease. Do you just keep pressing on with the off? Yeah, I think he was probably only going to bowl two. But you press on. Depends on who your other off spinner in the side is. But he might be an attacking ploy. He's only gone for three. Oh, on the edge. Could you have got a slip in? And then there's a misfield as well. But they'll get back for two. Oh, my word. That's a big moment. Big spinners. Senzere, that's nicely timed. It is beautifully played. It's only going to be one, but it was sweetly timed by Pelé.
carved away. The width was offered again by Zanebe, and it's hustled away over backward point for four. Can't give width to these left-handers. Short, Short, pulled, and six. Straight up in the air, should be taken. Key moment is taken well. I'm just questioning the introduction of Zanebe to the attack, and he bowls a half tracker. The first one was hit for six. The second half tracker spliced to mid on. Big moment, because Pele goes, and he's been the principal provider of the runs. The offspin of Da Costa. There's your answer. Da Costa will not continue. Yeah, it makes a bit more sense now with the, with the one right-hander in. So I can see keeping him back for later and then perhaps... That's beautifully played. No effort to hit it hard. Just make sure he middled it and placed it to perfection. That's a much-needed boundary for Josh Van Bouillon. He got three overs left of this uh, magnificent uh, day. Oh dear, at the Riverside Sports Complex. And there is the first influence of the wrist spinner. Oh, that's well played. Got in position to paddle and paddle it well. He's played the field placing, which is so clever because 45 had moved over to backward point and with him moving there, he's just allowed it to go with the turn. Paddled it on its way, picked up a boundary. Well, scoring round about 5.8 to the over. Beautifully played. No one at 45. No one out on the square boundary either. They switched ends. They're both leg spinners in one go. Oh, is that off the pad? Square. The fine leg is very square. Fielding done down in the deep. They'll come back for the third. He's got to go. Oh, that's close. Back for the third. Smashed away over backward point. That's four. That's a good stroke. Defiance from DHS. And here come the lights are being switched on, which is a timeous. That's nicely played, and he's gapped it very, very nicely. It's an excellent pickup on the run, but they're back for two. Just can't find his length in this over, Mason. Good shot, very good shot. It's dug its toes in a little, so the fielding's outstanding. They'll get back for two, but that was good footwork and a good response from Ntembu, who's been a lot more purposeful than he was in the semi-final. Big appeal for LBW. Oh, Ntembu's come up a long way. Double play possible. First of all, probably going down the leg side, even though they were enthusiastic college. And then if Tembu had come up an awfully long way. Punched out into the deep. Good piece of fielding. Just the one. Five from the over. Decent from Sanzere. That's his shot. That's his area. He gives himself a little room inside out over extra cover. That's a good stroke. You can't give him any room. Here is Zanibi to Omar. Steered away, down to third man, should just be one. Oh, overthrows, that's naughty. And it's hit, and it's hit the ball, and they're gonna get a third! Oh my word, that is incredibly sloppy from college. Incredibly sloppy. He's making him go back, he's making him go back, so it's just the two. In the latter stages as well. In the air, third man's up. How's the bounce here? Is it going to go away for four? Yes, it does. Big over for DHS. 89 for three. What a shot. What a stroke. What excellent footwork from Mtembu. Is he winning the match for DHS? It's almost run a ball stuff now. Here's the stroke. Lovely free footwork. Excellent flow of the bat, keeping it as straight as a die and hammering it just past the side screen down at the far end. If it hits, oh, it doesn't. And they're coming back for the overthrow. 
Oh, and it bounces over the keeper. So the shine was worth it. Oh, and the keeper's missed it. And it's a wide as well. This is sinful from college. They can't afford to make these errors. Giving extra balls and extra runs where they shouldn't be. Carved away. Could be. It is. It's taken in the deep. That's a massive moment. It's a very good running catch in from the deep mid-wicket fence. Omar's patience has finally dissolved. He feels the need for the big shot. He's holed out to deep mid-wicket. It's an excellent catch. And could that be a key wicket for college? Because DHS are now 103 for four with three overs to go. Catch running in as well. This should be a great view for us. The fielder running in and taken. Interesting, the umpires have decided if the batsman crossed or not. Up in the air. This is another moment for college. If the catch is taken, and it is. The two in men out of consecutive deliveries. You can sense the shift and you can sense the elation of Maritzburg College. Oh, there's an interesting stroke. First ball, chip for six. My word, this game continues to change. The, the, the other bowler at the bowling, the last over with more to defend. Oh, picked up beautifully for six. That is an amazing stroke. <laughs> Cooper has just picked up the length and smashed it away for six. In the air, over cover, beautifully placed and away for four, and surely that's enough now. They've left their best for last, DHS. Drop and run. No, it's not. It's pick it up and hit it for six and win the trophy in style. What a conclusion to this Clifton Centenary T20 tournament. It's an amazing outcome. DHS looked dead and buried at 103 for five. And that has been smashed away over square leg by Harverman and a great finish. Brilliant effort from Harverman and his brother today with the ball as well. They did a great job. He's probably done a man of the match performance. Didn't even bowl in the semi-final. And here he's come, picked up a three for, and then smashed 20 off just eight balls. And they've got them home. And this is how it ended. He shuffles across. Is it going to be a ones game? No, it's not. I'm going to pick it up off middle and off and have it away over square leg and salute the crowd and the elation of all the DHS followers. Principal provider of the main sponsor, Honor Magic. And the inaugural Clifton Centenary T20 trophy goes to DHS and the captain, Samal Pele. Well done, DHS. Semi-final and in a nail-biter here against their traditional rivals, Maritzburg College. They will lift the trophy and will celebrate long and hard.